You're now tuned in to Old Head TV. Put some pressure on that like and that subscribe button. And don't forget to turn those notifications on. Hey, yo, what it is, YouTube world? It's Old Head TV, and I'm back in the building. Back in the builder, and I'm back with another banger for my 2K family. And today, I would like to give you the prototype to a pass first perimeter defender that can knock down the three off the dribble as well as the catch and shoot. Pretty solid from the mid range, also a solid finisher around the cup. He's a big guard standing at six foot four with a seven foot wingspan that could give the offense problems. I was going for shades of Jason Kidd on this one by using all of his measurements while adjusting the attributes and I just couldn't pull it off. But I did get his archetype name which is a two way play shot and this build is for my playmakers that love to get their teammates involved and play some defense. Making it tough for those that love the corner three so much so without further delay let's get into the build. Alright for your position we're going to go with point guard, shooting hand, right, left doesn't matter, jersey number doesn't matter now let's get into the body settings all right for your height we're gonna go with six foot four your weight we're gonna go 205 pounds wingspan we're gonna take that to seven feet body shape doesn't matter but i went with compact now let's get into the attributes now for this build i really focused on thresholds just so i could stretch out my attribute points to make this a well-rounded build this isn't a slasher build and it doesn't get slash and takeover but you will be solid around the cup so for that you're gonna take your close shot to a 76 your driving layup you're going to take that to a 89 and that right there should have you at 12 finishing badge points and within those 12 finishing badge points we get everything that's relevant to this build tier one we get bronze post spin technician bronze dream shake and bronze back down punisher with hall of fame giant slayer tier two we get silver fast twitch gold fearless finisher and acrobat with hall of fame pro touch for those that like to time their layups. Tier 3, we only get gold slithery finisher. Now, let's get into these shooting badges. All right, for your mid-range shot, we're gonna take that to a 80. Your three-point shot, we're gonna take that to a 83. And that right there should have you at 21 shooting badge points. And within those 21 shooting badge points, tier 1, we get Hall of Fame volume shooter, slippery off-ball, comeback kid, and clutch shooter with gold claymore, guard up, midi magician, and gold corner specialist. Tier 2, we get Hall of Fame Space Creator, Gold Catch and Shoe, Amped, and Green Machine. Tier 3, we get Bronze Limitless Range, Silver Blinders, Agent 3s, and Dead Eye. And for my 2K family that plays Rec and Pro Am, you could take that free throw up to a 76. Now let's get on to that playmaking. Like I said in the beginning, this is a pass first guard, a real playmaker that can make his teammates better. So of course, we're going to need the best badges to do so so you're going to take that pass accuracy up to a 86 ball handle we're going to take that to a 89 the speed with ball we're going to take that to a 86 and that right there should have you at 25 playmaking badge points and within those 25 playmaking badge points we get hall of fame ankle breaker hall of fame break starter hall of fame dimer hall of fame floor general hall of fame post playmaker and hall of fame special delivery with gold Gold Needle Threader and Gold Vice Grip. Tier 2, we get Hall of Fame Quick First Step, Gold Unpluckable, Gold Hyperdrive, and Gold Bailout. Tier 3, we get Gold Killer Combos, Clamp Breaker with Silver Handles for Days and Mismatch Expert. Now, let's get into the defense. Now, I tried to make this build an all around defender, but I couldn't spread out the points without taking too much from the other parts of the build. So, I solely stuck to making this guard a good perimeter defender. With the long wingspan to complement the gold clamps that you're going to get and the gold challenger because we're going to get a lot of good contests from the perimeter with that seven foot wingspan and also we're going to get silver glove and interceptor so for your interior defense you're going to take that to a 32 your perimeter defense you're going to take that to a 92 your 
steal, you're gonna take that to a 85. And your defensive rebound, you're gonna take that to a 47. And that right there should have you at 18 defensive badge points. And within those 18 defensive badge points, tier one, we get a lot of bronze badges, most important rebound chaser and box out beast. We do get bronze anchor and chase down artists, but like I said, I couldn't do but so much with the attributes and I had to make a sacrifice, but we also get off ball pest on Hall of Fame. Tier two, we get Hall of Fame ankle braces, Hall of Fame menace, Hall of Fame workhorse with gold pick dodger. Tier three, we get gold challenger, gold clamps with silver glove and silver interceptor. Now let's get into these physicals. Okay, now for your speed, you're gonna take that to a 85. Your acceleration, you're gonna take that to a 83. Your strength, you're gonna take that to a 50. Your vertical, you're gonna take that to a 55. Your stamina, you're gonna bring that to a 92. And now it's time to get into these takeovers. Now, as you can see, we got shot creator take. We got sharp take, we got play take, and we got lock take. I'm gonna go with pull up precision and limitless range. Now we're gonna hit the finish button so we could get that final product. And there you have it. Shades of Kirk Heinrich, Trey Young, Darius Garland. I was going for Jason Kidd, but we did get his archetype and that is a two-way play shot. So now we're gonna test out the build, get it to 99 so I can show y'all this badge setup and get y'all out of here. All right, for the finishing, we got 12 finishing badge points. So tier one, we're gonna do gold giant slayer. Tier two, we're gonna do silver acrobat and gold fearless finisher. And also to be able to call slithery, I would take whatever badges I have for my rebirth and the badges you have from finishing those previous seasons. And I would dump that into my finishing so I could call slithery. Then you're gonna get those seven badge points back. And I would take those seven badge points. I would probably put uh, four points on silver fast twitch and the other three i would do post spin technician back down punisher and dream shape now we're going to get into the shooting for the shooting we have 21 shooting badge points so for this setup we're going to do silver corner specialist we could do gold guard up tier two we could do gold amp gold catch and shoot and hall of fame space creator then we could make uh agent three we can make that the core badge we're going to get six badge points back from that and we could put that on maybe dead eye or blinders i mean we have bronze limitless range me myself i will put that on dead eye now we could get into the playmaking now for the playmaking we got 25 badge points to work with so we're going to do gold ankle breaker silver break starter bronze dimer we could do bronze needle threader tier two we're gonna do hall of fame quick first step gold unpluckable and for the new core badge pattern system if i were you and i was making this build i would set this one to two playmaking where you can make two different core badges in your playmaking so you can make gold clamp breaker your core badge get seven points from that and you can make killer combos your uh, core badge and you could get another seven points from that. And I would definitely put that on, I put six points on uh, silver handles for days and I put another one on mismatch expert. Then you should have two more badges left where you could put that anywhere. So that's what I would do with that. Now we're gonna move on to the defense. Now for the defense, we have 18 defensive badge points. So I'm gonna focus solely on being the best perimeter defender out there. So tier two, we're gonna go straight to gold ankle braces. We're gonna put on Hall of Fame Menace. We're gonna make Challenger the core badge. And with those seven points from Challenger, we're gonna put that on clamps. Then those seven points that's left over from Corrin that, you're gonna take six of that and put that on silver glove, or you could put on silver interceptor, and maybe we could take that extra badge point and put that on Hall of Fame ankle braces. All right, y'all, that's it for me, Old Head TV. Be sure to put some pressure on that like, that subscribe button, drop a comment, let me know what you think of the build, or what builds you would want to see on the channel in the near future, and I'll be sure to get to it. Until next time, peace.